Hey Jaguars, Miss Ham here. I hope that everybody is having a great week um, and is excited to wrap up our first unit assessment. Um, this week I've received several emails asking clarification um, about the specific learning evidence required for our unit one assessment. So what I wanna do is I wanna spend just a few minutes making sure that we are all on the same page. Also, before we get started, I do want you to know that if you asked a question via Pear Deck, that response is now available to you about your specific question. In order to access this, you will need to go to the Pear Deck. You will need to go to the slide that you have responded to, so the last slide on the presentation, and then um, there should be a comment or a feedback button down in the bottom right-hand corner. Then you can click on that and see the specific answer to your question. So at this time, let's go ahead and move forward as we look at the overall vision of these unit assessments and exactly how this is going to work. So remember that as we begin, you will see that I'm in my History 131 course. However, remember that the structure for both History 131 and 132 are identical with the exception of the content. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my Unit 1 folder. I'm going to go ahead and click where it says Unit 1 Assessment. The first link that you will see is a link to your Unit 1 Assessment Readings and Resources. You will notice that you have an overall PDF of Chapters 1 through 5, and then these are the folders that I literally just pulled from your prior weeks for each chapter. So please be sure to review these. Um, I just wanted to make sure it was a one-stop shop for you, um, including additional resources, um, presentations, and rubrics. Okay. So as you go back to your Unit 1 Assessment folder, the next thing that you will see is your Unit Assessment Pear Deck Prep. What this is going to do is this assignment was supposed to be due yesterday, which is Wednesday, and this is an opportunity for you to really brainstorm what you are actually going to include in your presentation. We will be talking about these revised deadlines at the end of the week or at the end of the presentation, but I do want you to know that the, the deadline for this assignment will be extended. Okay, in order to create quality work, it is important that you take the time to do quality brainstorming. So in this assessment or in this, uh, in this Pear Deck prep assignment, what you're going to do is you're putting in the back work as you prepare your first unit assessment. So let me go into some of the specifics about what you can expect to as you are completing your Unit 1 assessment. Before we get started, I do want you to know that the vision of these unit assessments is to help you work smarter and not harder. At the end of this course, you will be required to complete what is going to be called a final presentation of learning. In that presentation of learning, you are going to be looking at the entirety of your work this semester, and you will be required to use artifacts and evidence to support your understanding of American history based on the driving question for your course. This video presentation will include a slide deck as well as will include a 10 to 15 minute recorded video of you presenting your learnings, your learning outcomes, and your takeaways from this course. Now, in saying this, your unit assessments are literally going to build for you that final presentation. So here is what it is going to look like. For unit one, you are required to complete your unit one assessment. This will include a visual presentation, so some type of visual presentation. I don't care if it's through Canva, if it is through Slides Carnival, if it is through Prezi, if it is through PowerPoint. However you want to do that is fine, but you should have a visual presentation to go along with your video. This visual presentation will include key learning artifacts that represent your understanding of the driving question as it relates to the lens of history that you are focusing on. And we'll get down to that in just a minute. Once you've built your slide deck, then you will record it and it will include a variety of examples of learning evidence, a minimum of two examples, and will it be a multimedia presentation that will include images, audio, and or video. This recorded presentation should be approximately three to four minutes in length. So what's gonna happen is that as you are building up, 
You should have a unit one assessment that's three to four minutes. You should have a unit two assessment that's three to four minutes and then a unit three assessment that's three to four minutes. So as you're working on that final presentation of learning, you should have about 15 minutes of material already pre-built for you. Now, for the unit assessment, you are required to focus on one lens of history. How you will do that is you will think about your material that you have focused on over the past couple of weeks. When you think about that work, does it reflect the political lens of history, the socioeconomic lens of history, or the cultural lens of history the best? You will only need to select one lens of history for your unit one assessment. This means that unit one will focus on one lens, unit two will focus on another lens, and then unit three will focus on that final lens, your final presentation of learning, will then focus on all three. So you should select the lens of history. And when I say lens of history, I want to make sure that you understand that you are taking the content and you are looking only at that lens of history. So if I was to take a camera and I was to put a blue film over the lens, everything that I looked out of in that camera would be blue. So what I'm asking you to do is I'm asking you to think of a, pol of a, a, a lens of history. So if I take politics and I put that over my camera, all I see in the content is examples of conflict and compromise in politics or freedom and limitations in politics, okay? After you've selected that lens of history, you will then move into the reflection. It is important to know that the first thing that you will answer in your reflection is the driving question for your course. History 131 will answer how have conflict and compromise contributed to the development of cultural, socioeconomic, or political aspects of American society. American History 2 will focus specifically on how has freedom been limited, okay, or set up for additional success through the experiences of politics, socioeconomics, and political aspects of American society. You will also focus specifically on the most significant pieces of knowledge that you've gained through Unit 1. You're going to talk about what you will do with this knowledge, and then you're also going to reflect on your personal journey. This should be very, very familiar to you because you do it each and every week. Okay? When you are finished with this final assessment, again, you have a slide deck that you are going to present, okay, in a three to four minute recorded video. You will take this link and you will submit it directly into this week five unit assessment folder. Then, when you move into unit two, you'll be adding on to this presentation so that when you're done, you have a full final presentation of learning for the entire course in one place. I hope that this helps guys. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out for clarification. I am here to support you in any way that I can. I am extremely thankful for you and proud of you and um, I'm looking forward to continuing to work together um, along this journey. Thanks so much guys. Have a great weekend. Bye.